Welcome to fishing squad. Well, we did get out eventually because I got the weather wrong. Fishing a small uh, pond. Got one rod on. One rod on feeder. One on for carp. Jay's got a waggler on and her uh, carp. Her uh, one on for carp as well. Some of the type of setups we had yesterday in terms of carp fishing. I'm just trying to feed her out with some. Uh, Method mix on. See if uh, find fish. I've seen a few, a couple of lads have caught a few fish, silvers. Uh, we're just going to try and uh, see if we can get something out. We're mainly here for carp, really. So fingers crossed. Again, it's not the same video. <laughs> well. It, we can't really film much around this pond because there's a lot of people here. I don't really want to get them in, in shot, shot that, so I don't think it's fair. But we're just using straightforward waggler, stick float type thing with a small look. Double maggot, straightforward enough. And it's working for Jay. I haven't caught out yet, but I'm not, I don't feel under pressure. Yeah, you know, it's the third one. It looks, looks, it's a nice one again. But that's a pike eating another fish. That worked, that was a carp carp. No, it's a, I saw a pike. I saw pike come out and there were carp there as well, Jay. I don't know if there might be two spike pikes spawning. He was just, just reeling his roach. And like, in background there was uh, a <laughs> like a pike attacking a carp. The carp looked about £10, pike looked about 6 But pike come out of water in margin. I don't I don't know what was going off. Unless it was difficult to tell you what was going off. Whether it were two pike maybe um, spawning, I don't know. It was really difficult to say what was going off there. It just took us both by surprise. Guys, we'll mention get these guys again. I think they've got spook bike pike to start with. I've gone back onto Waggler. I've gone onto Waggler. Feeder just won't work in. So, Stephen, stealing Jay's ideas. Let's give him a bit of an head start. Then uh, we'll show him how it's done. Okay. <laughs> a roach for me. They're tiny compared to what Jay, ones Jay had, to be fair. But it's another one. Waiting for a bite, it's gone quiet. I mean, I started from feeder as I was saying, I didn't have any interest whatsoever. I haven't had any interest in carp rods either as yet. But, yeah, I've had two ropes, Jay's had three. But if there's parking area, it'll probably not, it might knock silver fish enough, you never know. I'm gonna keep trying anyway. Yeah. Four, four two. Jays have all been like palm sized, mine have been little finger sized. It's effective method, isn't it, for catching silvers, that's one thing for sure. Let's hope what next let's hope this time we don't get uh, there you go, nice little roach. Great, finally, nice little perch. We'll put him back, nice one. Got a bit of a, bit of a better perch perch on go here. Oh, it must be probably 20 centimetres, maybe. Oh, I'm just going to uh, get him up. Got it anyway. Um, we drew one fish. Jay's dancing for joy because he's caught the same amount of fish as me. Um, we're about, we're about due to have a decent session him sent off for silver, to be fair. Caught some beastie roach. I caught a beastie perch and the rest of mine were tiny. But uh, it were a fair draw on weight and. Fish, nice little session, shame carp didn't turn up, but you're happy with that aren't you really? Mm. So, hey, well that's it for this weekend, we didn't even expect to get out today to be fair, so hope everyone's had a good one, tight lines, uh, keep safe, and we'll all have a good one, we'll see you later. Just, uh, just sorry, a bit of an extended bit on tip video, we just drove past where we've been fishing on the canal, we've still got some uh, ground bait left, like it's got a bit of particle mix, a bit of method mix, and some boilies in it, so it'd be slack, really, if we don't just uh, top our pre-baiting area up. We're desperate to see if something turns up, really, but you've got to keep going at it, haven't you? It's had some right I'm <laughs> stuff thrown in now for the last four days, but it could take time. It's going to take time, isn't it? So this bit of extra effort could possibly pay off. You never know. In theory. In theory. We're told that's what happens, you know. So, 
can only have a go at it. Just keep everything crossed. At least we know if, it's, if we're putting bait in, half the job's done if we decide to fish down here, in theory again. <laughs> There's no point in driving past somewhere, is that you've been pre-baked and then not not putting any bait in if you've got it in car or whatever. So we're gonna uh, some thrown in I think. I've still got my cube sold that it's uh, thing out of it. It's plunger for PVA bags that so let's throw it in. We've got some boilers in here, there's a some ground just powdered ground bait, sweet corn, there's even some there's, oh, there's particle mix, there's all sorts in. Just don't wanna just give it a quick just a quick top up really. Just to get rid of this bit of ground bait that I'm probably not going to get to use this week. The freezer life boilers as well, what I've made my sense, so yeah, hey, job done. So that's it, like I say, just thought I'd add that bit on. So take it steady, that guys, see you later.